This video will demonstrate the connection between the Cypress USB and the uh, Xilinx FPGA boards. Port A is represented by the bundle of green wires, port D by the bundle of yellow, and the clock between the Cypress to drive the FPGA is the blue wire. This here, the green wire, is an 8-bit data line for port A. The bundle of yellow is a 8-bit control line, port D, and the blue wire clocks the FPGA from the, Xilinx, uh, from the Cypress board. Here, the connection between the laptop and the FPGA board is demonstrated. It goes via USB cable to this Xilinx platform cable box and out through a JTAG, JTAG connection to the Xilinx FPGA board. Um, on the computer itself, it can be seen that the file has properly compiled and is ready to be flashed to the board. It's been mapped and routed properly across the FPGA by the Xilinx software. Um, at this point, the gene uh, generate program file is available, and the target device can be configured via a right click and run. Ignore that error for now. Now the FPGA can be configured and is this last device on the screen here on the right. There will be a top handshaking bit file to configure this module with by right clicking and selecting assign new configuration file. There you will select the top handshaking bit stream bit file which is a um, compiled version of the Verilog code specified for the Xilinx board. Select open and ignore any errors and then right click on the module again and left click on program. That will connect through the cable and flash the Xilinx board. Now this will show you the Cypress USB board is ready to be programmed using Keel um, uh, to put the C program onto this board. The uh, jumper here would select between being able to flash the, the board or to use default co code stored in the EEP ROM on the board. Over here, we can see the programming environment in Keel and the program ready to be sent over to the USB. In order to flash the program onto the Cypress USB, First, the power must be switched on. Then, over at the terminal, right-click on target 1 and select and select rebuild target. At that point, the compiler will run and you want to make sure there are no errors and no warnings generated by the file. Then, you can select Cypress USB console options and USB interface. There, click download, select your hex file that was compiled by Keel, and click open. The program will be flashed across to the USB board, and here the red LED indicates that the file has successfully been delivered to the board. Here we can see the software interface, which is going to take plain text and encode it through the US well send it through the USB to the FPGA, where it will then be encrypted and then sent back out through the USB to the computer, and then the process will repeat to decrypt the text. For example, if any characters are typed into the plain oh first click on the USB connection to enable it and then enter any string, any text here. Once done, click encryption and that will send this to hex, the hexadecimal ASCII code and then you will see the encrypted ASCII code here. At which point you can click decryption and the encrypted text will be sent back through the Cypress to the FPGA board, decrypted and returned through the Cypress to the computer and 
the result is displayed with within the decrypted text field.